name is uh, Jim Nguyen. Sorry, again? Now go ahead. My name is uh, Jim Nguyen, and I'm a volunteer with the uh, Guatemala Stove Project, a uh, registered charity, registered vegan charity, and we work in Guatemala. And one of our prime objectives is to get better cooking stoves in the interiors of uh, the Mayan houses, and for that we have to fundraise in the Ottawa area and the Perth area, and uh, then make it, make it available for them to have a proper cooking stove uh, to warrant not having the fumes of an open fire in the middle of their house. And why did you choose Women's World as a place to, to talk about this Women's project? World, um, is also the basis of our world in Guatemala. Uh, we deal with three women's organizations. They're uh, NGOs, of course, they're non-government organizations. And as you can maybe tell, it's better that the women have the purse strings. And so they are the board of directors in all three of these groups. And they have other assistants, and they have men that go around in the practice, and men that build the stoves, even the masons are usually men. But it's the women that like to uh, say who uh, deserves the cooking stoves, and who needs the cooking stoves, and where to, uh, which village to go to. Uh, so, so it's very much a women's movement that uh, uh, leads to uh, better results. And now we may be trying to go into micro loans as well. And people know that micro loans are usually given to women in the in the house because they're the better money managers. And uh, what kind of um, the items that you're selling here? Mm -hmm. How are they produced? Uh, they're produced uh, by the weavers, and we, we the volunteers, usually pick them up in February every year. And then for the various fundraisers, we have weaving material uh, that give, give an idea of some of the industries that uh, Guatemala people do, and also the colors of Guatemala. And um, it's just to give people a flavor, a flavor of the country. And, and basically, it can be a very exciting country, but it sometimes needs some little bit of monetary initiatives and so on that Canada can do more than provide, of course. And what are your expectations from this uh, from this conference? Probably to get more volunteers. If we can get more volunteers and those volunteers uh, know other people, and uh, I've even heard it described as uh, in a kind of a social media context. So social media means eventually joining up with more uh, Facebook and more uh, more younger people even. So younger people and, and older people want to know where is the best place to put my charity dollar and so we say it's usually a grassroots registered charity like Guatemala Stove Project because we know that the grassroots money from Canada goes to the grassroots in uh, Guatemala and we can pretty well say we're exactly 95 cents of every dollar goes. Any concluding thoughts uh, for our, our viewers, our participants, speakers, everybody here at the conference today? Do you have a message for anyone here? The, the message is uh, keep up the good word and, and spread the word uh, because uh, I've heard the word social change and social media and I call myself a social entrepreneur and if we keep spreading the word it's it's not going to happen from, from above so it's not a top down thing, it's a bottom up thing and it sounds like all these initiatives are going to help everybody, it's not going to help everybody, it's going to help everybody. Well thank you so much for your time and best of luck to you. Best of luck to you.